What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Case once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. So, today we actually ended up getting a shock drop on sneakers for the first time in a while. And it was for the Nike Dunk Low Paisleys. They're the SB Dunks. I tried to get a pair and I was unfortunately not able to. So, uh, gonna see if I can find a pair somewhere and, and do a review on them. But, like I said, we haven't had a shock drop on sneakers in a minute, so it was nice to actually see a shock drop like just out of nowhere, no one was aware, uh, finally happen again on sneakers. So hopefully we start seeing more of those, um, just kind of random stuff, just randomly shock dropping, but it'll just be a wait and see. But the reason I am making this video today is because I have another pair of the Travis Scott and recent Nike release. I have with me today actually the Travis Scott and Air Max 1 Saturn Gold colorway. So that leaves me with one more Air Max that I need to get to do a review on. We're going to see if I can get the Wii colorway because that one is going for over $1,000 and I haven't seen anyone with that pair. So that'll be another time, but going to do a review over the Saturn Gold. So hopefully y'all enjoy the video, but let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So like I said, I have with me the Travis Scott or Cactus Corporation and Nike Air Max 1 Saturn Gold. Now, when I did the Baroque Brown video last year, I think I mentioned that uh, this about the other colorways and the Saturn Gold was actually the one I was most interested in to get in hand. Uh, I felt like that was the best colorway in my opinion and I really wanted to get that one in hand. So now and, and lately even before I got this pair in hand I was I was kind of on the fence between the Saturn Golds and then the Baroque Browns. The Baroques are nice, the Saturns are nice. Those are my top two for the Air, Ma Air Max ones that did come out. So. Um, if you didn't know how these released, they did release on Travis Scott's website. He did a raffle for all of those. Y'all, I don't like that raffle. I've talked about it in other videos. And then they also released on sneakers. And I was not able to hit on sneakers either, so I did have to pay resale for this pair. But sometimes that's just how it goes when you need to get a sneaker in hand. So, jumping to the box. So, this is the same box that we've seen with the trainers. If you haven't seen those reviews, I did do a review over the uh, Cactus Corporation and Nike Air Trainer 1, the Wii colorway and the Grey Haze colorway. I will link both of those videos above. If you are interested, go check those out. Good reviews, interesting shoe. Not my favorite of the drop that happened between all the shoes, but still an interesting shoe to see in hand. So jumping to the box, we do have the same box that we saw with the trainers. So it just has the Cactus Corporation branding on it. And then you do see the Nike branding on there as well. The Cactus Corporation logo, which is there. And then you do have the Cactus Jack logo, which is, of course, Travis Scott's logo there as well. Now, moving to the label, the label reads Nike Air Max 1 CJ, and the colorway is Saturn Gold Tea Tree Mist and Tint. This is size 11.5, which is a personal size, which means y'all will be getting an awful look at the end of the video. And I want to say retail price on these was 170 but I will put the correct retail price in the video if it's not 170 now jumping to the inside of the box you do have two different types of paper so first you do have the regular white paper with these so we've seen this regular white paper with all of the other shoes and the same with this other paper as well uh, this is the cactus corporation paper so you see it just says cactus corporation going across or cactus.us cact corporation but we've seen this paper with the other shoes as well all right, so that is that. And then, of course, just a regular cardboard box on the inside, so nothing too crazy with these. All right, now let's jump to the shoe. So this is the Nike or Travis Scott and Nike Air Max 1 Saturn Gold. I'll give you all that Creed 360 of these. Now, honestly, I'm not sure what specifically drew me into this shoe and why I liked it over all of the other ones, but... The color on here is a very interesting colorway, I'm not going to lie. I feel like like the color is unique, but it could also be something that's hard to match with depending on what you want to wear the shoe with. So that'll be my, my uh, hard part is trying to figure out what exactly to wear with this shoe. But jumping into the outsole, you do have that same brown outsole that we saw. with uh, We've seen it across all the Air Max 1s. It is brown. It does, does have the Cactus Corporation branding on the bottom of the shoe as well. Now this outsole, it kind of reminds me, it's got some cool patterns in there, but it almost reminds me like if you're going hiking, this would be like a great shoe to wear or something you're doing that's rugged that requires grip on the outsole. This is one of those that has that type of outsole on it. Now moving to the midsole, 
start seeing that Saturn gold colorway wrapping around the midsole. You do have an air unit on here, but it is not visible. The air unit is painted through, so you cannot see. And then continuing around the midsole. So I know that painting or covering up the air unit was something not everybody loved. And, you know, it was kind of just a mixed reaction on who liked that and who didn't. It is something different. Um, you really don't see shoes with the uh, air unit or the air unit, yeah, air unit covered up like that. Usually it's visible. Now, moving to the upper, you have a mixture of materials. So, on the toe box here, you do have a mesh. And you do see the mesh panels uh, travel throughout the shoe. Um, so, even here, going behind the Nike Swoosh and by the laces right here, you do have that mesh paneling. And then you do see it wrapping around the ankle area. And then you also do see it on the back of the shoe as, as well. Like here you see it. Now moving back to the toe, you have almost, it's like a really soft suede or nubuck material. And that wraps around the toe box there. And then that same material continues throughout the shoe just like the mesh. So you get them between the mesh and that, that suede material throughout the whole shoe. Now, I, I will say the quality on here is pretty nice. The materials, like the Nubuck or, or Suede, is very soft. The mesh is a nice quality mesh. So, can't complain with this shoe. Now, moving to the Nike uh, check mark, you almost have like a textile material. It's, it's a rougher material, like a rough plastic. And of course, you have the reverse swoosh on one side and then the regular Nike swoosh on the other. Of course, y'all know that backwards swoosh is a Travis Scott trademark. All his shoes have that backwards swoosh. And then the last thing, so well, moving back to the um, ankle back of the shoe, you do have a pennant with Nike written out on there. And then the other thing on here is you do have these straps that go around the shoe. So you have a strap here, and you can see it traveling through the back of the shoe. And then you also do see it around the laces as well here. And that's on both sides with the laces. So there's one. And then there's the other. Now moving to the laces, these do come with, it's almost like a, a bluish colored lace. And it has some yellow hints in there. Maybe like a bluish grayish colored lace. And these do come with an additional pair of laces, which I will show y'all on when we get to the other shoe. And then the last but not least on the outside of the shoe, you do have the Cactus Corporation logo. And it is in that teal and was that like a, a Saturn gold, a little darker of a yellow there on the, on the um, tongue tag or in the tongue. Now moving to the interior, these do have the paper shoe tree. And then you have a Saturn gold sock liner with the cactus jack insole or you have cactus jack on the insole which is a Saturn gold insole. So hopefully the camera can pick that up there. Of course they do have the 11 and a half size sticker on the insole as well. Alright, so jumping to the other shoe real quick, and we'll start with the laces. So you do have these gray laces with these. Honestly, I would probably just stick with the laces that are already in the shoe. I would not lace swap these out. But I don't think this would look bad in the shoe uh, either. Like They both will look good. Now I'll give you all a quick 360 of, of the other shoe. Now the, one of the differences on this shoe is on the back of this one, you do have the pennant again. But it has Cactus Jack instead of the Nike that is on the other shoe. So a little subtle difference on the back of the shoe. And continue wrapping around. Everything else is pretty much the same with this one. And then the last or the other difference on the shoe, if you can see it there. The insole on this one has Nike Air written on it instead of Cactus Jack like the other shoe does. So some small differences between the shoes, but nothing too crazy. Let me know how y'all feel about this one. Was this a must cop for y'all? Where did these rank on your listing of the Air Maxes that did come out? Like I mentioned, we had the Baroque Brown that came out, the Wheat Colorway that came out, and then the Saturn Gold, which is this pair right here. So where does this rank on y'all's list between those three? Is it at the top? Is it at the bottom? Let me know how y'all are feeling about the Air Max 1 Saturn Golds. Like I said, this one was one of the ones that I did want to cop, and honestly... It's not a bad shoe at all. I think I kind of like the Baroque Browns a little bit better, but I'll stick with having these in my personal collection. You know, at least I have one pair. I'm not complaining at all. It's on to the next shoe at this point. But like I said, let me know how y'all feel about these. Muscat Pads, did you like these? Did you like another Air Max one better? How are y'all feeling about these? Like I mentioned, I will do an on-foot portion of the 
for this shoe. So to stick around and stay tuned to the end. As always, I appreciate y'all for stopping in. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I post new content. I have a couple more reviews coming just waiting on shoes to get in. So whenever they get in, y'all know I will drop the video ASAP for y'all. But like I said, as always, hope y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy whatever you're going to be doing. Happy Father's Day to those out there watching the video. Hope y'all have a great weekend, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.